Libra, Libra, Libra. Oh my. <laughs> uh, hello. Welcome to your second half of November love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Libras, there's no other way to say it. Someone's head over heels in love with you, or you're head over heels for somebody. Like, head over heels, okay? When I started meditating on your energy, um, I started to hear that song Fallen by Maya and like that's a throwback I love that song that takes me that takes me back to like that takes me back um and I was just like oh <laughs> oh someone's going there uh there's a lot of like fantastical daydreamy energy someone's daydreaming a lot fantasizing a lot like someone's just totally going there like someone's totally indulging in that kind of energy Libra it's like someone just wants to bathe in you like literally bathe in you um and by by the way like just talking about that music video really quickly uh, I will put a link down below I will put a link down below if you guys want to watch it for yourselves, for those who don't know that song, because I know it's like, you know, it's older. <laughs> I just was a little older for some people to know what that song is or who Maya is. Um, but anyway, anyway, um, that in that music video, she's actually a little stalkery, okay? So I, it just makes me a little worried. So like, I don't know if anyone's being a little stalkery with you, Libra, or maybe if you're being stalkery with someone, just be mindful of that. Just be mindful of that. We don't want to be stalking people, right? I feel like it's probably more someone doing it to you, Libra, but it's like someone just wants to bathe in your energy, like just be all up in you, okay? Uh, it was a little overwhelming, it was a little intense. I did start to hear some inner dialogue. I heard, I want you, I heard I'm scared, um, but I did also hear worth the risk worth the risk so I don't know what this risky thing is again I don't know if you're stalking someone or someone's stalking you and that's the risky part I don't know but there seems to be some kind of riskiness to it but someone is also I'm, someone's also tired of resisting it Libra someone's also tired of resisting it is also what I've been getting almost like someone hasn't been allowing their heart space to go there someone could have had a closed off heart space that could have been it but I think this person's been worn out from resisting it physically and ener mostly energetic mostly energetically resisting it someone's just tired of doing that like <laughs> just tired of doing that so they're like you know what fuck it I'll, I'll just go there like if they thought about you they put you out of their head if they all of a sudden got all turned on and they're like oh no no, no. <laughs> Libra who like <laughs> like that kind of energy and like like I said you know it could be you it's energy so it can't be vice versa it's just what I was picking up on intuitively here um but it's, it's become so exhausting to do that someone's finally just like you know what I don't really want to resist like this like I actually really enjoy Libra like I actually really like this this actually makes me really happy why am I not allowing myself to indulge in something that makes me feel good I think someone's just really afraid of repercussions or circumstances or you know classic tales old time I don't want to get hurt I don't want to get hurt um so when I meditate guys sometimes I play with the cards and there are some cards that came out and I was just like uh <laughs> I had to keep them out. They were just too good. I had to keep them out. So Libra, we have Queen of Swords in a verse with the Seven of Pentacles in a verse. So yeah, someone's done wait. Someone's done trying to resist this. Someone does not want to resist this. They're getting really restless. They're getting really antsy. Like I said, Libra, it could be you. It doesn't seem like there's been a whole lot of communication or at least honesty about um, what this person's been struggling with as far as resisting, falling. Sorry, I can't keep, I can't stop hearing that song. Um, I'm so tempted to sing it because actually it's one of my favorite songs, but I'm not going there. Anyway. And then, oh yeah, oh yeah, Libra. And do you see, as I keep, that's so funny, I was about to say, as I keep creeping up on you, they might be creeping up on you, Libra, so they might be creeping up on you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, do you see how he's looking at her? Do you see that? Like, <laughs> creeping. Cre oh, no, I'm, now I'm getting into that song. No, I'm not gonna get into that song. Anyway, Libra, so, that's what I was picking up on your meditative session. Someone's head over heels. Whether it's you or someone else, there's no denying it. There's no keeping quiet about it anymore is also what I'm getting. Like there's no keeping quiet about it anymore. It's just too exhausting, actually, is mostly what I'm getting from that. It's just too exhausting to keep quiet about it anymore or to keep up the whole... I don't... I'm I, Like, you know, keep up the whole secret of it. Like the whole, like... It's not even really, a, that's the thing, I don't even feel like it's really a secret, to be honest. Like, it just feels like it's just not discussed, it's just not talked about. It's just not indulged. And this person, whoever it is, you or this person, just like, this is too exhausting. I, I just gotta go for it. Like, I just have to go for it. Um. So anyway, Libra, let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle here. But you should definitely check out that music video. I love that song. That's such a good song. Any messages for Libra? 
Closing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Oh, keep in mind, guys, you guys know the rules of tarot. And for those who are new and don't know, please check out my video link below. The basic, basic general rules. Um, the messages can be reversed or vice versa. And no, this is not for everybody because I'm reading for thousands of people and it's for people who need to hear it. Um, and don't get caught up on the gender. We read energy, not gender. And this is for the last half of November, but it could be for any time, because time ain't linear. Okay. Please import any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra. I just got watering hole. That's interesting. Watering hole. Watering hole. It's all this, like, water about watering hole. Um, like a place of congregation. A place of congregation might playing a big role in this for you, Libra. Uh, you could have just met this person at a big social gathering or like, be or met them because of other people or like a place where people congregate is what I'm getting. A place where people congregate is playing a big role in this. Either you met them there or something's about to take place in that kind of a situation. Closing 40 messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. I just got the word bulldoze. Oh, that's interesting. Bulldoze. What's this bulldoze energy about, please? What's this bulldoze energy about? Um, they might just be really persistent, Libra. Take that as confirmation. They might just be really, really persistent with you. I'm getting a bulldozing energy. Um, so yeah, I'm like it's like knocking down walls, knocking down obstacles. It's just like bulldoze my way in, bulldoze my way to Libra. Like it's just kind of like yeah. Yeah, it's like someone's kind of like, I got to be all like all in or not at all. Like all in or not, or not at all. Please record any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For the last half of November. Oh, yeah. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy with the Ten of Wands, Sag energy. This is a burden. This is a burden. This is a, weight. This is a lot of weight. It's a lot of work. Okay, I feel like this is this person's energy before they just surrender. Because this is how hard it's been on them. <laughs> this is how exhausting it's been on them. Libra, look at this. That is not a fun place to be. Two of Pentacles, having a really full plate, a lot of, I'm getting a lot of mental, mental energy too, a lot of mental energy. It's been taking up a lot of mental space. This person's back and forth, up and down, crisscross, diagonal, carrying all this weight of like, of holding back, all this weight of, I can handle it, I can handle it, I, I can, I can, yeah, whatever, that, that, those feelings, what, those feelings, no, I got it, I got it, I can do this, I can do this. I, I can keep resisting this, I can do it, like, like, no. <laughs> No, this person cannot. This is someone who's about to break. This is someone who's about to break, okay? Closing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. So you guys could actually be building something. This is interesting, building. I'm getting something about building, like actual physical building. Closing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love. Yeah, I just heard carpentry. Some of you guys are learning carpentry. Or you're needing to, or like you're watching some like DIY, oh, hold on, like DIY YouTube videos or something like that. Um, but I'm getting like a building or putting something together, like physically, physically. Two of Cups. Yep. 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 Cancerian energy also soul my energy for me as a reader. They're about to cry. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ten of Pentacles. Cap. No. Virgo. I just read Cap. Keep could be on the Capricorn cap on your chart. Look at this shit, Libra. Look at this. Look at this shit. Ten of Pentacles, that's long-term stability. That's long-term shit. This is like years, this ain't months uh, worth of a being with someone of a connection. And this is what someone's been holding back from. And they're about to break. They're about to break. They're about to snap. They're about to give into this. They know they want this. They know it makes them really happy. Um, it's also an energy of a blessing. Ten of Pentacles is very much a blessings kind of an energy here. Um, so let's keep it going. Wow. Pleasing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Both of you have something to bring to the table is what I just heard. Both of you have something to bring to the table. Both of you have something to bring to the table. Um, a lot of you, this is like in a complimentary way. Like one, like one of you has something the other doesn't have as far as like physical things are concerned or physical resources. Um... This is weird. Like someone might actually have a lot of like 
assets are money but not a lot of things but the other person has the opposite oh that's so weird okay anyway i don't know why that came through anyway placing 40 messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Libra, this could be a very brand new person. Like, like someone that you may, maybe, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> like someone that might not have been on your radar, okay? Um, it could be someone that you've dealt with in the past. I feel like for most of you, it's a new connection, a new person here. Yeah, for so yeah, I really feel like it's a new, 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 or it's just someone you've never been committed to before, even if you already know them. Please for new messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, summarizing Venus and Jupiter. Are you ready? Ah! <laughs> oh my god, Libra, Gemini energy. Oh, the lovers. Libra. Who is this? <laughs> Who is this? Oh my god. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Whoever they are, they're about to break. They're they're about they're about to break down and just surrender in total like daydream fant fantasizing, going for it head over heels love in regards to you. Keep in mind it can't be vice versa, okay? Libra, let's get into your reading. Wow. Any messages for Libra? Regarding love for the last half. Oops. I'm getting animal totems they usually show me a lot of animal totems i don't usually speak them out loud i'm seeing a whale i just saw a rabbit here I saw an eagle i saw that for another sign this week definitely saw that for another sign this week i just saw a dog i think it's just for confirmation for some of you guys any messages for libra gorge what the hell gorge 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 um to me, that makes me think of the natural formation of a gorge. I don't know why that that's so weird. I don't know why that just came out. Something something significant might have happened at a gorge for you and this person or will. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe someone's name is George. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Gorge. I don't know. Libra. Okay, this is this is awesome. I'm loving this reading. Two of Cups with Temperance. Temperance is like a divine intervention card. Um, it's also guidance. Uh, spiritual connection lovers also divine uh, divinely jesus spiritually guided connection i don't know why i feel like i feel like speech might be difficult between the two of you or someone might be really nervous <sighs> yeah someone someone's nervous someone's nervous any messages for libra any messages for libra regarding love for the last half of november oh man someone's really nervous really nervous like you know the hard to breathe like <laughs> it's kind of cute any messages for libra regarding love for the last half of november i don't know what this means but i'm hearing i walk with you oh <laughs> that's what that means <laughs> temperance sagittarian energy uh there's some divine guidance going on here okay there's some divine intervention going on up in this libra for you and whoever this is for okay because this ain't for everybody that's for damn sure um someone's really i feel I, I feel like it's a guide it could even be a straight up angel um it's a guide there's a guide really close to, really close to both of you like close it's like Apparently, you two have needed a lot of divine assistance or help or intervention here, okay? That's straight up, that's all I'm getting from that. Like, I'm here to help. <laughs> Interesting. Any other messages for Libra? Give me all the stage, but I, I feel strongly it's it's about um, a guide or an angel being like, I'm here to help you guys figure this shit out. Any messages for Libra? Any messages for Libra regarding love for the last half of November? Any messages for Libra regarding love? I Oh, Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy could also be earth or fire here. Someone's on the move. Someone's being pushed. This came through in the partner reading too that I did for Patreon already for Libra. Yeah, someone's being pushed. Someone's being guided. There's a there's a guide or an angel pushing pushing someone here to be like go 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 yeah this is exactly what I picked up in the partner reading go 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 <laughs> interesting they're moving really slow though very slow I feel fear 
I actually feel fear behind this person a little bit. It could just be insecurity. I think this person's just really nervous. Oh, fuck. Yeah, they're nervous. Any messages for Libra? Any messages for Libra regarding love for the last half of November? I'm seeing sexy time for people. I don't want to see that. I mean, it's, you know, do your thing. Enjoy. I just don't need to see your business. That's all. <laughs> just was awkward because I'm doing readings for you. Um, wow. Shit. Magician. Mercurial energy. Virgo. Gemini. Could also be Aquarius. Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. There is so much divine intervention going on here. It's like not even funny. It's almost like there is no choice. That's kind of how it feels. Like, if you want happiness, spirit's not giving you a choice. This is so interesting. So someone's being pushed. Definitely someone's being pushed. Not even like guided, sure, but it's a push. It's a big, fat, spiritual, energetic nudge here. Um, but with magician, there's also manifestation going on already on top of this. Why do I think it's actually both of you? There's a lot of manifestation energy going on. It might not have even been for this person specifically. Like, you know, like a general manifestation of I want someone who will respect me and be, ha and be happy with me. You know, like something like that. And Spirit's like, okay, done, <laughs> done. That's what it feels like. But this night, whoever this night is, I feel a lot of nerves. I do feel a lot of nerves. A lot of stuff going on in the heart chakra. Ooh, ooh, in the solar. Might have a nervous stomach. Might have a nervous stomach. Any messages? Any messages for Libra? Just for Leo? Any messages for Libra regarding love for the last half of November? Any messages for Libra? Oh, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I, oh, this night's moving slow. That's why this is in reverse. Look at this. Look at this. This night's moving hella slow. That's why they're getting a big fat push from spirit and this angel or guide. I feel if it could be either one for depending on you know what your situation is, but it's a it's a divine being, okay? It's a divine being on the side of this person, like nudge, 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 nudge. While I feel like there's manifestation trying to make this happen already, the ace of pentacles in a verse, it's highly delayed, okay? Highly, highly delayed. And you see that pentacle they have right here? This is what they're delaying, this opportunity. They're coming to give something, provide something, offer something, and they're dragon ass, okay? <laughs> they're dragon ass. Because they've been resisting. Just like the energy we picked up on already. They've been resisting. Now I'm hearing that song again. Ah. Any messages for Libra? Ah, sorry, I'm all excited for you. Knight of Cups, Piscean Energy, could also be water or fire. And there's the love. There's the love. Oh no. Oh no. Are they having to catch up? Wait a minute. I'm getting something about catching up here. Shit. Okay, so because this person's dragging ass, um, I feel like the other energy, Libra, it could be you. That you're getting kind of impatient and maybe looking looking around for for other opportunities because this person's dragging ass here and again decide who you are um yeah because yeah libra i feel like you're manifesting you're trying to manifest this kind of opportunity i don't again i don't feel like it's a specific person i feel like it's the kind of opportunity spirit's trying to get this person to do it they're the ones that should i just heard they're the ones that should do it should do it they're the ones that should be giving this opportunity. They're the ones that should be a part of this opportunity for you is what I'm getting with that. But they're dragging ass while you're trying to manifest. Delay, delay, delay. And Libra, I feel like you're about to be like, well, shit, I'm going to keep looking for, I'm going to keep looking around then. I'm going to keep shopping if this isn't coming through. I'm going to keep trying to manifest. I'm going to keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. This night needs to turn into this night of cups. They need to go from this speed to that speed. And I think they will. Something tells me they will, but let's keep it going. Any messages for Libra? Any messages for Libra? It's almost like I, like now they got to catch up to Libra a little bit here. Any messages for Libra? Any messages for Libra regarding love? Last half of November. Let's see what we have here. Oh. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy with the Hermit in reverse Virgo energy. 
someone's realizing they've been, they, that, that they want this and they don't want to let it go. They don't want to let it go. They don't want to let go. They don't want to let go. Also, I'm getting a closed heart chakra energy, kind of like what I was picking up on before. Like their heart's been a little shut off from this. And I think it's about to be blown wide open, to be honest with you. I think it's about to be blown wide open. They really want this. It makes them really fucking happy. And that's why Spirit's also pushing this person towards you, Libra. I feel like they're being pushed towards you. Again, if it's vice versa, it's vice versa. Overall energy, we do have King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air. Someone who's not very confident here, okay? It's the same freaking pentacle. Look at this. Are you guys seeing this? It's the same freaking pentacle this person's holding here to give an offer that they've been delaying. They're just holding on to it, holding on to it, holding on to it, closing off their heart chakra because of it. Once they give up this pentacle, give this opportunity, their heart's going to be blown wide open. This is the only thing that's <laughs> keeping their heart chakra closed off. And once they get rid of this pentacle to offer it to you, they'll be down at the three to give, to be a team player, right? To work with you to build something here, but they're holding on to it. And the longer they hold on to it, the more they're gonna be closed off. I'm, I'm getting more fear and the more scared they're gonna be, the more lacking in confidence they're gonna be. They just have to do it is honestly what I'm getting. They honestly just have to do it. Underneath the king, we do have three of cups and then we have ace of wands in reverse here, okay? So they do want this coming together. They're just scared. They're just scared and lacking confidence. They're having a really hard time uh, like just giving in just giving they have a hard time surrendering they're having a hard time just letting themselves fall and they will because they're tired i can feel it because they're tired okay so let's go ahead and look at temperance with the knight of pentacles i want to look at the knight a lot of shit going on there with that knight um actually, i actually want to use the cosmic one for this do I have the knight of pentacles for libra Talk of the Knight of Pentacles for Libra regarding love for the last half of November. Talk of the Knight of Pentacles for Libra regarding love for the last half of November. Talk of the Knight of Pentacles for Libra regarding love for the last half of November. Oh, okay, okay. They were fighting me. <laughs> King of Cups, Scorpionic energy could also be water or air with the fool in reverse. Yeah, see, they want this. They want this. They want this. They want this. This heart, their heart is in it. Their heart is in it. Like I said, they're they're head over heels. This is someone who's a fool in love, quite literally, a fool in love. But this is them resisting taking that leap, giving up that pentacle, giving up that offer. And spirit is just like push, push push like i will push you off the cliff if i have to it's almost like spirit is saying that spirit saying that do i have the knight of pentacles sorry it's kind of funny do i have a knight of pentacles do i have a knight of pentacles i don't know why they're lacking the confidence it's like i don't know if it's just it makes them feel too vulnerable or they don't feel like they're good enough oh for some, it's a fear of, of vulnerability and instability of just like, what if it doesn't work out? That typical fear, right? But others, I'm actually getting like a major lack of confidence. Like, what if I'm not enough? Oh. I'm sure this person's enough. <laughs> Tell me about Knight of Pentacles. Mm, the Emperor. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. Ooh, who is this? Libra, whoever this person is, they got a lot going on, okay? They have a lot. They, I feel like they have a lot in their life, whether it's just assets, resources, money, love, people. It's like they just have a lot. They're not lacking in very much, except confidence, apparently. Um, and I feel like they a lot of people have to answer to them or rely on them. Thank you, that's what it is. A lot of people rely on them. A lot of people rely on them. Time of the Knight of Pentacles. Time of the Knight of Pentacles for Libra. Regarding love, they could even be a boss. I'm getting a little bit of a boss energy there. They could be also be a father or a mother, like a parent. There's a lot of masculine energy on the board, but keep in mind it's just energy, not gender. So over the Knight of Pentacles. So over the Knight of Pentacles. There's the three. <laughs> I knew it was gonna come out. The three, what did I say? Once they give up this pentacle that's blocking up their heart chakra, taking up too much goddamn space here, the offer to give to you, Libra, they will be at the three. 
they'll be at the three to build, to build with you. Tower of the Knight of Pentacles for Libra. Tower of the Knight of Pentacles for Libra. I do feel like this person does have a lot going on, though. I do. Like, I'm not going to lie. I can feel it. They got a lot going on. Um, I feel like they're trying to work on a lot of little things. A lot of little things. Tower of the Knight of Pentacles. Like, a lot of side projects. Tower of the Knight of Pentacles. <sighs> Chariot in reverse. Can't, yeah, Cancer and Energy. They're, they're, they're scared. They're scared. Okay, they're scared. They're scared. They're scared. They're scared to give up that pentacle. They're scared to make that offer. But spirit is like almost not having it. Like spirit, spirit's seriously nudging them closer and closer to the cliff to jump to jump off. They're hard to jump off and do, you know, just go, just go and make the offer. Overall energy, look at this. Ace of Wands, King of Wands, Leo energy could also be air or fire. Wow, with the freaking Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy, you'll see Pisces or Scorpio. And then we have this King of Pentacles here again. Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air with Judgment coming together. Now, it's interesting we got two kings here. <laughs> it's interesting we got two kings with a Queen of Cups right in the middle here. Um, keep in mind, Libra, this person is coming across as a King of Pentacles and Cups. Sorry. King of Pentacles and King of Cups. I don't know why, like, I just had a brain fart here. Libra, I feel like this is more your energy with that Queen of Cups right in the middle there. So this is a true pair situation for sure. I feel like King of Wands is acting as an energy from them of needing to take this leap, needing to take this jump, needing to make this judgment call, needing to make this coming together happen, okay? Needing to do it. They gotta do it. They want it. They clearly freaking want it. They clearly want it. They're just afraid to give that pinnacle up. I really feel like it's a confidence issue for the most part. I really feel like it's a confidence issue. So anyway, there's manifesting going on. But like I said, this person's dragging ass. Spirit's nudging them closer to the cliff. That's why it's delayed. I'm curious about this Knight of Cups because Libra, I feel this energy of almost like you're you're moving further and further away from them because they're delaying, delaying, delaying. It's like you two are probably like right here. And then they decided to stay here as you kept doing this. And now you're over here and they're like, oh, oh. Oh, you know, it's a, it's kind of a game of catch up. So let's go ahead and look at Knight of Cups here. And then we'll look at the Hermit card and see what um, realizations are coming through here. Um, mm, Gilded, we'll go for Gilded. So this Knight of Cups. So this Knight of Cups for Libra regarding love for the last half of November. Page of Swords in Reverse. Not a whole lot of talking going on here. Come at Knight of Cups. Do you feel a little bit of that watching energy? I feel like this music video is going to resonate for somebody, for a lot of a lot of you out there. Come at Knight of Cups for Libra regarding love for the last half of November. I and there it is. Emperor in Reverse. Not talking. Not talking. Libra, I, f I feel like you're moving further and further away from them, okay? Like I said, you might not even be aware this person is, like, all up over you or wanting you because they're not, they're not really talking. There's no talking about it. They're keeping it to themselves right now, for the most part, of how badly they want this because they've been trying to resist it. They've been trying to resist it, trying to resist it, and now they're fucking tired, right? Now they're tired, but it seems like you are kind of escaping their clutches here or their sights anyway. Talk about Knight of Cups. Wow. How many? We have three Ace of Wands here, two Temperance cards. Saggy energy with that Ace of Wands. It's, it's divinely guided. It's spiritually guided. It's spiritually led. They want this so bad, but they're not talking about it. They're not, they're not, they're not talking. They're not talking. I feel like with this Hermit energy, that's going to be the surrender. I feel like that's going to be the surrender here. So I'm over the side of cups for Libra. Now we got a queen of pentacles, Capricorn energy. Could also be earth or water. I do feel like this is your energy here. <coughs> Excuse me. It was definitely your energy. You're focused on your pentacles. You're focused on your money. Focus on your prosperity. I'm also getting a lot of like luxury pampering. You've been pampering yourself, Libra. You can feel it. Or at least my queen of pentacles here watching. Definitely been pampering yourself here. 
securing securing you've been securing a lot of things in your life talk about knight of, knight of cups talk about knight of cups talk about knight of cups for libra talk about knight of cups for libra Oh, interesting. Knight of Wands in reverse. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you've been um, really giving this person a whole lot of attention. Some of you are not even aware. Damn it. I think the audio is going to be messed up from now on. I really hope it's not, but I saw how much the camera freaked out. But we're 30 minutes in and I don't want to start over. I'm really sorry if the audio is now long, no longer synced up. I didn't touch it. Obviously, you saw I didn't touch it. Interfering energies whatever sorry guys sorry just listen to the messages just listen, just listen to the messages so anyway yeah i don't feel like you've been giving this person a whole lot of your energy here and i'm just get, i'm almost getting like um just that that passion like almost uncontrollable passion that this person has for you overall energy ace of cups they're so in love with you they're so in love with you underneath that we have the nine of swords gemini energy anxiety and fear what did i say they're scared they're, they're, it's almost like they're scared of how much they love you, honestly. <laughs> it's almost like they know once they give up this pentacle, they make this offer to you and they surrender and they fall. They let themselves fall down that spiral of falling head over heels in love with someone. Like, almost like that's it. Like once I'm in it, like there's no climbing out of it. There's no, I can just forget about this person. They can't forget about you now. <laughs> you know, they can't forget about you now. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at, the Four of Pentacles and the Hermit in reverse, and then we'll pull some Oracle cards. I'm gonna look at the Hermit specifically, and I'm gonna be using the um, Norman deck for this one. Actually, let me use OG. Do I have the Hermit in reverse? Do I have the Hermit in reverse for Libra? Do I have the Hermit in reverse for Libra regarding love for the last half of November? So we have the man with the ace of cups here. Not surprising, very masculine energy. We've been tapped into this whole time. They're having this realization. Oh my God. This is such a sweet reading with the ring and the key. Ace of wands with the eight of pentacles, okay? 33, master number and 20, 25, which is a seven, right? So being on the path, being on the path and mastering lessons here to give in to passion, to surrender. The ring is about commitment, commitment, marriage, long-term uh, security as well. Key is unlocking that, having access to that. That is what is on the mind of this male and them realizing how much they want this. And realizing, oh, I have to surrender. I can't not surrender at this point. I can't not surrender at this point. Time with the Hermit in reverse. Time with the Hermit in reverse. All right, so now we got three more cards out here. We have, I think it's called the Clover. I always call it the Clover. Uh, with the Six of Pentacles, the Female with the Ace of Swords, and then we have the Bouquet with the Queen of Swords here. So Libra, like I said, this could very well be you. Queen of Swords is your specific court card. It's meant it's Libra specifically. Um, Clover is luck it's luck it's fortune it's destiny it's a blessing it's spirituality as well uh bouquet is also is a gift specifically a gift or a sense of maturity feminine power here okay this masculine energy knows exactly what they want they know exactly what they want this feminine energy who they consider to be a blessing that they have a lot of passion for that they're head over heels in love with <laughs> and they're falling quickly okay they're falling quickly because they can't stop. They can't resist it anymore. Overall energy, we do have the garden, which is like a communal energy. So it's, oh, it's so funny. I was getting watering hole because this is the communal card. I would consider that actually, the, I think that's one of the key words for this is watering hole. Eight of swords. Underneath that, we have talking and communicating. This could be rumors and gossiping amongst community, social network, or the people in both of your environments. I was trying to get that to focus. There we go. That could be what that is. It's like people talking. People are talking. People are talking. Underneath that, we've got the star, very indicative of like of the meaning of the star in tarot as well. Blessings, spirituality, feeling amazing, basically feeling amazing with the six of cups energy attached to it. I do think there's going to be a lot of rumors about this Libra, and I don't know why that is. I don't know if you guys work together. I don't know if you guys share the same social network, have the same friends, live in like live in a really small town or something, but people will be talking. 
is what I'm getting with this. People will be talking about this. Also with the star and the um, birds, it is also a card of like spiritual conversations. So like I said, this person's being nudged hard. They're being nudged hard, okay? So they could be getting messages from their guides. They could be seeing synchronicities. They could even be having dreams or visions here, okay, about this. But there is a sense of communal or community surrounding this reading for you guys. And you'll know how that applies to you, okay? So they want this. They're falling. They're falling freaking hard. They're, they're head over heels in love with you already, okay? A fool in love. And they've been resisting it because I think that's, like I said, the, that's the other thing. They've been resisting it because they know once they just surrender to it, there's no pulling themselves out of it. Like, that's going to be it. They're just going to love you. And that's just going to be it. It's a little, it's, it's intense, right? It's intense. But beautiful at the same time. Oh, any advice for my Libras? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Come on. Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? They look at you like the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. That is like, that's the epitome of a loving, healthy, committed partner right? It's someone who nurtures emotionally and physically. Um, very balanced energies as well. So now we have, for advice, we have stag spirit. Take the lead. 58, what does that break down to? A four, stability. Um, moth spirit, sur <laughs> surrender now. <laughs> that's so funny. I forgot that's what it says. 39, breaking down to a three. Three and the four, progression energy is also communicating about stability. Someone being proactive, taking taking very alpha stance here to just fucking surrender to it and to fall head over heels in love in an alpha-like way, which I kind of like, actually, which I, I'm not surprised because this is for a very masculine energy that we're picking up on here. Um, but yeah, just going for it. Just saying, I'm not going to resist it anymore. I'm going to look at it in the face and I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to fall right into it. Any advice? And there you are, Libra, or the feminine energies here. See your spirit. Watch and wait. 53, break it down to an eight. You're just, you're, t you're actually tired of waiting, actually, because like I said, I can feel you getting further and further and further away. You've been doing this. I just heard be patient, Libra. I just heard be patient, be patient, be patient. I know I'm I'm just the messenger. Don't shoot me. I get it. I I can feel how you feel right now. Quite literally, I can feel it. I can feel the frustration. I can feel the irritation. I can feel the why would I wait anymore for somebody? And you know how my stance is on waiting. You don't wait and do nothing. You wait actively by living your life. And if they catch up to you, that's cool. But like, but if you meet someone, you meet someone, right? Um, but yeah, that's definitely, it, it's it's basically saying my feminine energy is to just be more patient. To just be more patient. Spirit's working hard to push this person off the cliff to make them jump, okay? To, to just have them fall and surrender in that, you know, falling falling in love. It's kind of beautiful. Any dolphin spirit, this and that are true. 20 breaking down to a two. This is being aligned, okay? Being aligned in masculine feminine energies, also in dark and light energies, and having a lot of fun in the midst of that. Dolphin spirit is a very fun, very sexy, very sensual kind of energy. And like I said, they're already head over heels for you. And there is a sense of fun that could be had between the two of you, a lot of fun that could be had. Um, I think this person also needs to be aligned, is what I'm getting with that. I think this person does need to be aligned and maybe that's also how they need to catch up to you, Libra. You might have already spent a lot of time growing and getting to a really nice place of balance. This person needs to catch up because they're lacking in confidence, which says they're not in line, bleh, which says they're not in alignment, right? Right. Oh, Lord, Libra. <laughs> Wombat spirit, be at home. 68, what is that? Five. So change and transformation. Being at home is just how it sounds. It's being comfortable and confident in their skin. This person, I think, has some body image issues is what I'm getting with that. I don't know why that's coming in so strong. That came over a couple other signs this week, too. Um, this person is lacking confidence because they're also not entirely comfortable with themselves, and that's what they need to learn to do here. That's what they need to learn to do. But they do look at you like home. Oh, They look at you like home. Any other advice? 
It's amazing. Lizard spirit, dream the world into being, manifestation. Keep manifesting it, Libra. Because like I said, you've been trying to manifest this. Maybe not this exact person, but maybe this kind of like connection. And it's been delayed because they've been dragging ass. And so you're getting tired of it. And I think you've been putting less and less energy into manifesting it. Don't stop doing that. Don't stop doing that. Any other advice? Any other advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Last one. Wolf spirit. God, everyone's been getting this one lately. Turn knowledge into wisdom. 67 break down to four. Another stability energy here. There's a sense of maturity coming in that I'm getting, like a mature energy. Libra, they're catching up to you in maturity. That's interesting. They're catching up to you in maturity. It's needed. That's what I just heard. That's very much needed. They're learning. Okay. They're learning a lot about themselves. In the it's interesting. Resisting falling for you, resisting that falling in love energy when it comes to even though they even though they already love you. I mean, it's like they're already there. They just have been resisting opening their heart chakra more to it, to really feel it and surrender to it. But it's it's a path that the, that's really taught them a lot. Oh, sorry, my, my nasal chakra is opening. Um, it's a path that's taught them a lot. I'm hearing roots. Roots. It's making them realize, whoa, where they want their roots to be. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Where are we going, Libra? Where are we going with this? Um, that feels very long-term energy, very much like, where do you put roots? You put roots where you want to be settled. It's, it's, some of you, it's making this person think about long-term, like, decades from now, okay? Um, like how to set up, first, depending on your age, you know, if you're, you know, you know who you are, depending on your age, how to set up the rest of the remaining years. And for others, it's like how... <clears throat> like how to set up the main event is what I just heard. How to set up the main event. Hold on. They've learned a lot from you. Even if they haven't been in your vicinity, they've been watching you. Okay, even if you haven't been speaking to this person, even if you aren't really aware of this person, they're very aware of you, Libra. They've been, they've been aware of you. Okay, even if you haven't actually met them. I know how that sounds, but it is what it is. And again, it, this could be someone in your work environment. And maybe they're not on your team, but maybe they hear things about you. Maybe they watch you at work. You know, it could just be simple as that. And that's already taught them a lot. That's already taught them a lot. And once they give up that pentacle, they're they're going to basically be catching up to you in that moment because they're just, their heart chakra is going to blow wide open, like wide open. Wow. Wow. Overall, we have turkey spirit. Give with grace and gratitude. 61, that's being on your path because it breaks down to a seven here, okay? And giving with grace and gratitude. Again, a very like classy, high road, mature energy coming through here. Um, and a lot a lot of being grateful, like actually being grateful for this opportunity. I'm getting a lot of like emotion with this. <clears throat> Once this person gives in, they're gonna be so grateful they did. They're gonna be so fucking happy they did. And Libras, I think you're gonna be really happy that you kind of left a pathway open to this person here okay and like i said for those who haven't met this person you've been manifesting this kind of connection you've been trying to manifest it and so you're going to be really happy you didn't give up on trying to manifest a connection like this okay because they're so close they're so fucking close and they're about to surrender to falling okay um i don't know why i don't know why i need to be reiterating this but i do apparently again if you don't know this person or if this is a new person so remember, we do have an Ace of Cups here. That's not just love. It's also new opportunities. If you don't know this person, they've been watching you. They've been learning a lot from you in whatever capacity they could, depending on your circumstances here. All the while, you've been trying to manifest a connection of this caliber, okay? And it hasn't been happening. You've been getting frustrated, and it's been causing delays. You haven't been putting energy into the manifestation as much as you used to and trying to be hopeful and just look for options elsewhere. Just look for options, Right, just trying to keep your eyes peeled more open, but in doing that, you've been pulling more away from this person. There's been more distance created between the two of you, especially because they've been dragging ass and giving this opportunity. Be patient, Libra, and just stay open minded. Okay, just stay open minded here because they're close. All right, oh, Libras, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Yeah, don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo, and I will see you guys later. Okay, have a great night. Namaste.